Hey everyone, it's non-Canadian Canadia back again to show you the versatile assassin achievement on Chongqing. So first up, you're going to want to load out your lockpick coins and your pistol for these achievements. Okay, so as soon as the mission starts, make your move. So we're going to start with the straight shot achievement first. To do that, make your way through this walkway over here. And as you turn right, you will see a bamboo ladder. Two of them, you're going to take the one on the right. And that's going to get you to the ceiling of this building over here. So just make your way up. You will see a few security guards up at the top here, which you will need to get around. So, crouch run the whole way through. Be aware, do not stand in those green spotlights, otherwise you will be spotted. So, there's only one you really need to shoot out, so let that one pass. Get behind the forklift here, pull out your pistol. And you're going to see one drone here, near this uh, fenced off area. That's the one you're going to have to shoot out. And that's going to enable you to access this restricted area. So again, if you followed my loadout at the start, you'll have your lockpick with you and that's going to grant you access. There's three sets of doorways here. We just did the first one, this is the second one, and the third one's right in front of us there. So put away your pistol, you're not going to need that right now. Unlock the door. And then crouch run your way through this area. Now depending on how fast you get this here, nice there will be this well, one security guard on the left on his laptop. The other one on the right here, we want to wait for the one on the right to go towards the window and that'll be our opportunity to take them both out. So be very careful, I don't recommend taking the first fellow out now because you will run the risk of being spotted and you won't be able to do this achievement. He will move away in about 10-15 seconds, like so. So just move your way across, make sure subdue pops up before you take out this first fellow, like so and take his disguise. Don't pick up anything that has been dropped at the moment and subdue the second fellow. Now you will have time to do this but put them both into this cabinet over here. If you don't someone will eventually get around to walking through this area and they will see the bodies. So pick up the second fellow and drag him into the wardrobe. Now once you do that, then you can pick up one of their pistols. They both have the same one, you only need one of them for this. So pick it up, come across, switch to your silenced pistol. There's a security camera here we're going to have to shoot out, like so. And then what you're going to do is switch back to their pistol, and you're going to drop it on the top stair of this staircase over here. It can be anywhere around here, basically the point is it will catch the attention of Hush over there in red. He will alert the security guard who will hang around this area. That'll give us the opportunity to kill him without being spotted. So I recommend waiting here by the doorway. Don't take cover, otherwise you'll look suspicious. And I'll skip the video and show you what you need to do when the time comes. Okay, so here we go. About five seconds later, Hush and his guard, so he's seen the gun. As you can see through my instinct, he's loaded his security guard. Now make sure you've got your pistol ready. You're allowed to carry it with this disguise. Now, the minute Hush walks through, close the door and shoot him. And that'll be the straight shot achievement done. Okay, so for the Piano Man achievement, we don't have the fiber wire with us in our loadout. So what you're going to do is leave those two security guards there knocked out because you're going to need a bit more time to do this. Uh, pull out your pistol, like I said before, shoot out the security camera. And we're going to go one floor down. That's where the stethoscope and the lethal poison pill jar is located on this map, which you're going to need for Tasteless Traceless. So if you come around here, there's the lethal poison pill jar, and if you come around, here's the stethoscope. Now there is one security guard to our right that you have to worry about. You don't need to stress too much though, as long as you keep running. Even if he's looking in this direction, he just oscillates back and forth in that alleyway there. Don't need to worry. So once again, uh, pick up pistol. Uh, I would recommend not dropping your own one. Pick up the one which these fellows dropped here. Uh, make sure you're running throughout this because you're going to be pressed for time. And like so, drop the pistol on that top stair or nearabouts to it. And just wait around here next to this double doors because that way Hush's security guard will not see you.
because he is the one who will recognize you as an imposter. So once again, wait here. Shouldn't take too long. Hush is coming back with his guard. He'll spot the pistol. Then you've got your fiber wire ready. So as you'll see, Hush will come into the room once again. In a couple of seconds, like so. Close the doors behind him and garrot him. And you'll want to make your way out of here you as soon as that happens. Now go get and there you go, there's your Piano Man before. achievement completed. So after you've killed Hush, next up we're going to move to the Tasteless Traceless achievement. So for this one, what you do is you shimmy across all the way to the right of the building and then as you saw me just do before, you get your way back into this office space area and then you can basically retrace your steps because now we need to get back down to the underground lab where Imogen is located. So similar to before, uh, just crouch run all the way through. There are a couple of guards here so make sure you're not spotted by the drones or the guards. Uh, as you can see that one looking over the ledge there, you'll be able to run past him. Now there's the ladder we came up at the beginning. Just make sure the guards are to your left over there and that drone right in front of me doesn't see you. So it's your choice. You can either shoot it when you came up here at the beginning. I chose not to because you can just maneuver your way around it. So at the back of the walkway here, you're going to run across until you reach the back area of this noodle restaurant here. So you'll see that lady there as she faces the walkway there. That's when you're going to want to climb over and drop down. Now crouch run your way to the numpad here and the code here is 0118. That's going to grant you access to the underground facility here. So just make your way through and what you're going to do is climb down to the next floor down and climb down again like so and just drop down. Now pull out your camera, you're going to be using that a fair bit this time and you're going to want to hack that break room area so that the glass turns opaque, like so. Just make your way across through here, and then you're going to want to turn on the air conditioner. There's two IT people in the break room there, as you can see through my instinct. Uh, you're going to have to take them out. Now, the body has been spotted from before, so as I said, depending on time, you may or may not be able to hide the body. Now, you see that person there with the phone? He will actually not see you throughout this whole engagement, so you don't need to worry about being spotted by him because he's clearly so enamored with his phone. I'll just dump the first person into the cabinet here. And you're going to want to repeat the same thing again. So turn on the air conditioner. That'll catch the second person's attention. And just stay hidden in this room. You'll see the man with the phone has got up and moved along. See on the minimap now, the second IT person's going to come out. Now just be careful that the subdue comes up. If you are too hasty and you press X before that appears, you will actually knock him out and alert a couple of people up there. So again, keep his body in the cupboard. If you don't do that, if you just leave the body somewhere around here, it will get spotted. So now come into the break room, it should be empty now. Switch to your coins. Open this doorway here and then throw a coin in that area near the vending machine. That's going to catch this guard's attention right here. And that's going to give us the opportunity to basically take his disguise. So just give it a moment. And like so, he nearly got spotted there. Nice. And again, wait for Subdue to pop up. Take him out. Shut the doorway, like so. You do not want that doorway to be open while you take out the security guard. So we got very, very close over there. Now keep him in the cupboard here. Lots of good storage in this area, which is fantastic. Clearly security isn't that very good. So pick up the coin, like so. And now you're going to make your way across. Now go back to your camera and focus on that you might have to take a few steps in you're going to want to hack that panel so that you won't get spotted by the security camera where you saw the x's on the floor 
Now just come through here. Now a couple of things, come into Imogen's office here, pick up the screwdriver, and what you're going to do here is fire Jeremy Bolt, so bottom left. That's basically going to take away Jeremy Imogen's Bolt. personal security guard Power from her, so they'll separate. The That'll give you the opportunity to take out Imogen. So switch Take back to your camera. What status. we're going to do now is hack these three people's security Please panels. Stay. So that's the first one. Code 41 here's the second one. And here's the third one. And pick up this tier 2 access dongle. That'll just give you a bit more freedom to hack and move your way around this area. So as you see, the three people are going to the break room. And we're basically going to get prepared. So they will head into the IT room. Just make sure there aren't any weapons here. You'll see I picked up the uh, big weapon on my back from that security guard. Make sure there aren't any weapons or anything else in that area that could uh, distract them. Because if they see a gun, for example, they will alert a security guard and your plan will crumble and fall apart. So once again, remember, you've picked up your lethal poison pill jars I showed you in the previous challenge. So what you're going to want to do here is in this server room you will see the ventilation system like so. Basically what you have to do is poison the ventilation system and then turn on the air conditioner. So you might have to give it a few moments. As you can see there through the instinct Imogen and the security guard that normally follows her isn't there anymore. So that's the benefit you get by firing Jeremy Bolt. and. Like so, she will see nobody is working, she'll kick up a fuss, and she will come to this area. So I'll briefly skip the video and show you what you need to do as she gets close by. Here we go, Imogen is back, she's about to enter the room, and as you see, she will throw out those IT people right now. So what I recommend is wait for them all to leave the room first. Like so, that should only take a couple of seconds. Okay, Use great. your instinct to see oh, them moving around. Losing the job. I don't want and to then you can too. poison the air conditioning system. So again, put in the lethal poison pill into there. Open the doorway here. And then turn on the air conditioning. And then that Good. will take down. care of her. I just need to then you can turn off the air conditioning and just for I'm the in. sake of uh, completeness there, and there you go, tasteless traceless remotely. achieved. Okay, next up we have the someone could hurt themselves achievement. Now, now what you're going to want to do here is set up everything that I just showed you before for tasteless traceless. Make sure you pick up the screwdriver from Imogen's office. So what you're going to do here is basically tamper with the plug outlet here and then the create a water leak. Now you're going to want to do that after the IT people are kicked out. So as you can see, Omergen's entered the room. Make sure that you don't turn on the air conditioner. That's not what you want to do. Wait for them three people to leave and then just get behind her. Expose the wire. She will hang around there for a little bit. And then create a water leak. And then make your way out because you don't want to electrocute yourself. And there you have it. That is the shock to the system and you will also get the someone could hurt themselves achievement like so done. And finally we have the hold my hair achievement. So for this one, again set it up similar to what I just showed you previously. But this time you're going to come around into the bathroom and pick up the emetic rat poison like so. So once okay, again, great. Imogen will kick oh, out those three people in the job. room, put best... the rat poison into the ventilation system, not the lethal poison. And turn on the air conditioner when Imogen is by herself. She will start to feel sick like so, so just come into the bathroom here and get ready. As you see, she will make her way across. So when I say set up this similar to before, I showed you how to get to Imogen's uh, underground lab over here. I showed you how to pick up the uh, rat poison. I showed you how to distract the IT people and get them in that room. And now of course she's over here poisoned and you're just going to want to drown her. No one else will be in this area. 
and believe it or not that will be all five achievements completed so with hold my hair done that gets us the versatile assassin achievement like so and if you want feel free to drag her into that cupboard over there but otherwise that is the achievement completed well thanks all and i'll see you in the next video